Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Pamela Gardner. Good evening, everyone. We're continuing to have very warm temperatures for this evening, windy conditions, and we're tracking some isolated showers for tomorrow morning, plus cooler temperatures. It's a busy forecast, and I'll have the details for you in a minute. First of all, I want to bring to your attention that we do have a flood warning in effect for the Wabash River, and it's included in all these counties in green. The minor flooding is expected through Tuesday morning. So Monday night into Tuesday morning is when we're expecting the river to crest in most spots. And and we're getting this flood warning because of the melting snow just to the north of the Wabash Valley. It's melting and making its way down into our area, so just be careful if you live in low-level areas near the rivers. High temperatures today, not too bad. It was in the 60s, way above average once again for this time of year. Robinson hit 64 degrees, Vincennes at 65, Terre Haute. We had an official high temperature of 61 degrees. Taking a live look at the Vigo County Credit Union Tower Cam, it's hazy out there and we have some more clouds trying to move in here. Temperature right now we're at that high temperature at 61 degrees. Winds coming from the south at 15 miles per hour and everyone is either in the upper 50s or the lower 60s and today those winds not making things too comfortable out there. My hair was blowing around like crazy and unfortunately the winds are picking up trees, sticks, branches, and they're uh, blowing things around, small trees that is. Wind speeds about 15 to 25 miles per hour in most spots, sustained winds, but then our wind gusts up to 39 miles per hour in one spot in KZ, Illinois. Mattoon seeing a wind gust of 29 miles per hour. And because the winds are so strong, we continue to have a wind advisory for our Indiana counties until 7 o'clock tonight. Overnight tonight, we're expecting the winds to calm just a little bit, but they're still going to be fairly strong and gusting up to 25 miles per hour. On Storm Team 10 Fury, we're not seeing any rain showers popping up there, but we are tracking some very, very spotty showers once again. On clouds and radar, here we go. We have a disturbance just to the north of us, and it's enough to spin up some moisture and instability. Nothing severe is expected, and it's just going to be an isolated shower or two overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. On Futurecast, timing everything out for you hour by hour to show you what we can expect and where that rain is going to pop up. We're not seeing anything until after midnight tonight. And then we have a short wave move through, and that means for us just a chance of a spotty rain shower. By 7 o'clock, though, we start to clear things out briefly. Clouds move in in between 9 a.m. and noon, and then becoming partly cloudy for the rest of your Friday. Temperature is a little bit cooler because we have a weak cold front moving through along with those rain showers. So we will only be allowed to get up into the upper 50s, still above average for this time of the year. Tonight, low 51 degrees. We're not cooling off too much. Scattered rain after midnight and gusty winds. Tomorrow, high of 58 degrees. Spotty morning rain showers becoming clear throughout the day. Tomorrow night, we get much colder. Low 32 degrees and mostly clear skies. And for your seven-day forecast, we get a break from the rain and even cooler for the start to your weekend. 52 degrees for your high. Sunday, another chance for some rain. And the rain is sticking around for Monday and Tuesday. We get colder, but still above normal for this time of year. So that's the good news.